race? Um, I'm pretty quiet before my races. Um, I really have a hard time eating before the meet, which it's very important to have protein and carbohydrates before your meet, all that stuff, but I really have a hard time stomaching food and I'm afraid I'm going to be too full or, um, and I have a million little thoughts running through my head about, you know, make sure you only breathe three times in your 50 and make sure you nail the turn and get off the blocks in your start. So there's a lot of things that are going through my head and especially right before my races, um, my coaches throughout my swimming career have known, don't talk to Michelle before her race. <laughs> um, she doesn't want to be bothered. And, you know, my teammates will just give a little, good luck, Michelle, and just kind of leave it at that. Um, so, yeah, definitely before my race, I'm very quiet. And afterwards, if I have a really good swim, I'll be a little bit more chattery before I hop in the pool to warm down. But I like to, to keep to myself a little bit. <laughs> sure. Take me, take me into the final day. Um... Looking at the seed sheet and the heat sheet, I was seated first for the 100 free. Um, my favorite event. I love that event. Um, so I was just sitting there thinking, um, you know, I swam the trials and set myself in a really good position for finals. And um, usually before my races, I think about, okay, don't mess this up. Focus on that when you're swimming. But this time was different. This time I could sit there and imagine the whole thing clearly and I could picture afterwards winning and for the first time in my entire swimming career it just clicked for me like there was a hundred percent clear confidence that I could do this and I was going to do it and when I got up behind the blocks I was ready mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> um, right before I step up on the blocks I remembered looking to the girls on either side my two biggest competitors and thinking I'm going to beat you. In four laps, I'm going to have my hand on that wall before you. And I stepped up on the blocks, and I had an amazing start. I mean, the most amazing start in my entire swimming career. And for once, I was not behind the, <laughs> the group of girls. Um, so it was such a blur. It happened so fast, and I just took it all out as hard as I could go. I didn't hold back anything. And by the time I got to that last lap, I was burning, my muscles were aching so bad, my legs, my arms felt like they were going to fall off. But um, as I looked across the field of the girls, I was like, I'm here, I'm out in front, I'm going to do this, I'm going to finish. And I just buried my head and plowed for the wall. And I actually broke my nails <laughs> finishing on that wall just to get my hand in there. And I thought when I had touched that I might, want, I might have won, and I'm like, oh, my God, you might have just done this, and looked up and saw number one next to my name, and that's when I knew I had won. Mm -hmm. Still had plenty of energy left, though, to pop out of the pool. and. Oh, yeah. I mean, that race, when I was swimming it, I was so exhausted, and any other meet, any other time, if I had finished after swimming that hard, I probably would have just floated there in the water for, like, five minutes, not being able to move, but when I saw that first place next to my name, I just... All that tiredness was gone, and I just hopped out of the pool so energetic and excited and um, started jumping around and looked over, and my coaches and the swimmers that were there with me were jumping around too, and um, all that tiredness, I just completely forgot about it.